News 4 received a report today from a Grand Turk resident who chose to go unnamed, stating that several non-belonger tour bus drivers on the island of Grand Turk had received a notice from the Deputy Director of Road Safety, Lionel Barranco, some time ago, asking them to cease services because they were operating in conveyance of the road traffic ordinance that states only belongers have the right to obtain a public driver's license. That source also revealed that today Chief Executive Mark Capes asked that non-belongers be allowed to operate until the end of the season, which is in April, and also said, quote, Residents here on Grand Turk are furious because there are locals on this island capable of and qualified to do that job, and it is illegal. Well, News 4 contacted Barranco, who confirmed this report by stating, quote, I was transferred to Grand Turk in June, and I had a meeting with cab drivers and tour bus drivers and found out that some of them had no proper license to operate public transportation services, and some of their vehicles weren't even licensed either. I asked them if they had some sort of agreement with the government to operate without a proper license. They could not provide it, and so I ordered them to cease operating because it is illegal. Barranco says that those drivers met with the cruise center and complained that there was no one to do the job, but he gave about 60 names of unemployed persons on that island who were qualified to obtain the proper license for public transportation services. He further explained that Chief Executive Capes did indeed order him to allow those illegal drivers to operate until next year April, overlooking his recommendations. News 4 asked what he planned to do and how he felt about Capes' order. He responded, quote, I can't do anything. I work for the government and I have to carry out my duties. They made this decision to accommodate these illegal drivers, so there is not much I can do because it's like I will be fighting with the government. I disagree with this decision because I believe in following the law, and if the law states that non-belongers cannot obtain public service driver's license, then they should not. But I was told this morning that I work for the government, and therefore I should comply with any amendments until something can be done. A similar matter took place earlier this year here on Providenciales, where local taxi drivers held a demonstration against hotels offering transportation and belongers driving without proper licenses at the Providenciales International Airport. Well, News 4 will have more on the story and comments from Grand Turk residents on the matter in Monday's newscast. For WIV4 News, I'm Amanda Miller.